Obaseki announces resumption date for schools in Edo. The Edo state government, under the leadership of Governor Gordon Obaseki, has announced the resumption date for public schools in the state. The government, in a statement on Thursday evening, signed by the Secretary of the State, Osari, Osari Odion, disclosed that full activities will resume in the schools on Monday 1st of February. The statement which noted that the full COVID-19 protocol will be in place and enforced urged parents and the general public to note the date of resumption. The statement warns that teachers must fully be at their duty post at the government as the government was ready to implement the no work no pay policy the statement reads this is to inform all parents teachers and the general public that all public primary schools in edo state shall resume fully activities on monday 1st of february 2021 parents are expected to make their children and words ready for resumption on that day the board wishes to emphasize that all public schools teachers head teachers are requested to be present in their various schools failure to resume would make would be considered for fulling of salaries as the adult state government has activated has activated the no work no pay policy the head teachers and teachers who are deliberately trying to stay away from work in support of their sponsored strike action by certain elements of a dual state branch of the NUT are requested to hand over all school property in their custody to their respective education secretaries. The board is collaborating with the relevant security agencies to protect all primary and public schools and all willing full peoples. Government property will be met with, who, those who destroy government property will be met with criminal prosecution and the full extent of the law will be activated. Meanwhile, teachers in Edo State, some has gone on strike for over a period of time now, instigating that they want some members who were relieved of their job to be reactivated and brought back and pay their full salary. Hence, the governor is speaking in this stead. So there is a lot of discrepancies going on between the government and the uh, teachers. And um, I believe this should be resolved and resolved amicably and soonest because the teachers, especially primary school, which is the foundation of children learning, has to be done decently and in order, has to be done very well. We cannot undermine the position of primary learning and education. It's very important we get on board with it. You know, we cannot because of our differences and what we feel, you know, our position, self and what have you, deny these children the opportunity of learning. Because the truth of the matter is, these children, this is the bedrock, the foundation of their learning. And by the time we deny them the opportunity and the access to getting the basics of, for example, you know, the elementary reading and writing, the elementary adding and sub, sub, add, subtraction, multiplication, we are not putting them in a good position such that they begin to lose the very foundation basis of what makes up, you know, on which foundations will, on which other academic foundation will rest on. If you don't, if you don't understand how to add and s subtract, multiply and divide, how do you go about algebra? How do you go about further mass? So please, let's not jeopardize with the future of our children because of personal sentiments and what have you. I believe the governor should have a, a, a make a amenable dialogue and decision position with these teachers and resolve this crisis that is ongoing so that children can go back to school. We cannot continue to allow our children, you know, to suffer needlessly. A lot has happened. Last year already there was no school with the result of, uh, with, the, with, the, with the result of uh, 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 the whole world going on a, a lockdown. As if that was not enough, uh, we were barely coming out of the lockdown. There was answers. 
So NSAS uh, was uh, uh, close to remont, all for good cause, but at the same time, some other things were affected. And that's why we need to do things well. And that's why we need to get things in order so that children do not suffer, you know, in respect of what is going on today, you know. So we need to get things well and get it right at the right time because a lot is going on right now. We don't want to, you know, like the British Prime Minister says, as much as we are complying with COVID rule and the rest, we don't want to, we don't want a society and a crop or a set or a, 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 a group of children who are not intellectually sound, who do not, you know, we need to, we need to, we need to put those things in order. There are challenges today here and there, but things need to be put in order so that one does not suffer for the other. If this were, uh, you know, in, in, in developed countries, children are still having education. They have what we call it that Teams meeting, which we all know about, but in Nigeria, where is the data? Where is the electricity to, to, to charge the device? Either they are having their Teams meeting or they are having Google Classroom, teachers are sending work, they are marking it, they are having interaction. Teachers are calling regularly to check on the children. How are they getting on with the education, the home learning? Are you having difficulty? How can we help? Are you finding challenges? How is this child? Every child is taken as an individual, particularly looked after. You see, this is what, it, we, you know, this is how a country care for a people. And you know that the government even go further in, in, in uh, uh, developed countries to send, you know, in school, they feed primary school children. They send this food home to, you know, abroad, they don't just classify everybody as the same. They try to make everybody in the same position so that there is no that uh, wide gap between the rich and the poor. They try to marry that gap. How do they do it? By ensuring that the, the gap is not showing. They go ahead and they make sure that, you know, the less privileged ones are fed in school free. Even children are fed right from nursery to about a particular year group. Then parents cannot pay some stipends and what have you. Or you can decide to bring lunch for your child. So this is what it is. And good quality meal. Children even prefer those school meals to home meals sometimes. That's to tell you that they put hard their mind to it. If not, you see the Congress, the Parliament will be discussing it and saying, no, this is not right. And those who are faulted will be brought to justice. Guys, leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.